Welcome back to Magic Instrument. <laughs> okay. Well, there's uh, one of maybe I think yeah the one of the, some of the best uncommons. Also, um, Dowsing Gloom. But I'm not gonna pass up on picking Yugen, even though maybe it's not insane because it costs 8 mana, but yeah, I mean, and it's also a money card, so huge money card even, I think. Whoa. That's an Atarka. Okay. I don't think I want to go. Uh, I don't think I want to pick this card though. It's good, but red green isn't my favorite, and work sure shot is good too. I think. Is it better than Dowsing Gloom? Is the question. Maybe not in a more controlling deck. Also, there's Bait in Dragonfire, so I could take that. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll take the bait in Dragonfire. Okay. So <laughs> there's a Goblin Heal Cutter. It doesn't really fit into the Yugen deck. <clears throat> If I pick Gurmag Angler, which I think is the best card here, I'm going straight into Mordu, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but um, there's also Right Into Being, I guess I'll take the Angler, I like Mordu well enough. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I picked that, but so that makes these picks terrible. But I think I had to panic there. Uh, what is this? These are some really bad cards. I guess there's a Return to Earth, a sideboard card. Wow. I could take Feral Crew Shock. Don't love the card. Hmm. Well, I'll take the crew shock then. And here there's Southern Reclamation. It's a decent card advantage card. There's Map the Wastes, which might be good in a Yugen deck. Also Rugged Highlands. I think I take that. These are some mediocre cards, all of them, so it's fine. Spend this. Oh. Well, the new card works with Yugen, but I guess. Uh, I mean, the one from Dragon. Uh, Dragons of Tarkir, but I guess this doesn't. <laughs> Could be jammed. Then I can't really take the morphs in cons. Ah, okay. It's basically just garbage here, anyways. Again, a bunch of garbage. And Ruthless Instincts, I'm not sure how good it is, but it's probably fine. Hmm. 
Okay. I not guide. Yeah, I'll take that. And Frontier must not I mean this these cards are <laughs> also really really bad here. Uh sure. And garbage. And cyber card. Okay. Garbage. <laughs> I mean like the only I guess I have one, two, three, four, five good cards. So I guess it's fine, but the picks are, have all been very mediocre, except the of course the first pick and second pick. Could easily splash, like go into Absalom and splash uh, red or whatever. There's a murder cut. I think that's the fairly easy pick. See that written is just a. I mean, it's a kind of a bomby card, but uh, yeah, it's uh, not that good. And here, there's a Pine Walker. Which I'm happy to take. Uh, yeah, there's Sulta Scavenger, which is a good card. And a good card in Marty Horde Chief, and yeah. Let's see. Oh, no. That's a nice card. Uh, yeah. Savage Punch is good. Uh, but yeah, I'll take the death dealer for sure. Well, here's where <laughs> being John is really bad. Uh, let's see, that's no. Um, I think Longshot Squad is the best here. It's a little better than Krumar Bonkin, I think. I mean, it's, I'm not sure I would play Sultai Charm. I might be absent, so. should be there. Some really clunky cards here. Uh, Sultai Slayer is a great card. <laughs> Again, Absan Guide because well I don't if I if these were like uh, I guess then I wouldn't be playing these colors, so never mind. I'll take the Sultai Slayer, it's a good card anyway. Um I'll take the witness. It's a fine morph Especially with these colors. Oh, oh man. Luxon is really good. At least, I, I mean, it's not insane, but it's really, really good in sealed, especially. I'll take a White of Serpent. One another Islands. Fun. Nice. Well, this pack was a lot, a lot better than the first pack, I think. So a lot of high quality cards here. Uh, sure. I think I'd rather have natural ice and shambling attendants. Yeah. I'm already very top heavy, and I have two dev cards without. Uh, synergy on oh, foil land, nice.
wooded foothills foiled. Could that be worth anything? Let's check. To check foils, uh, go to I go to MTGO weekly price. Uh, let's see. Wooded foothills. Concert arc here, close and let's see where there's new foil. Okay. No, there's three tickets. Uh, but what would I pick over it? I guess Tuscar and Captain. Mm, yeah. I have three lands in it already and I'm not sure I need the... I'm not even gonna play a mountain, so... Mm. Both Absent Guide and Pony Back Brigade <coughs> kinda hurts. So, could either take Nomad Outpost or Jungle Hollow. <laughs> I don't think I can play Hordling Outburst. Uh, well, if any of these wheel, I guess I can take the Nomad Outpost. <coughs> the Sound Ancestor I like. Uh, more than Teamer Charger and the Spice, I think. I could take Arrow Storm, seeing as I have four red lands. But uh, it's much better in, ag in an aggressive deck. I mean, it's still good, but... Maybe not worth taking a dud red card for. I'll take the Ancestor. <laughs> you know what's a really good co combo with the Ancestor? Kin Tree Invocation. <laughs> um, I mean, Empty the Pits is a good card. A uh, fine card, I guess. Potentially good card, I should say, because sometimes it's, it's garbage. But uh, yeah, this card should be good another loxodon yes please and <clears throat> don't think i need to scout the borders and the problem of playing is archer but just in case border skull hunter huh yeah i have enough Early drops to trigger the raid. I don't need another blood film, blood film caves. I don't think. Sure. Nice. It's a late long shot squad. And probably not playing the cities, but. Not, I don't have any hopes of the coins wheeling, but you never know. <coughs> so, uh, I mean, these aren't completely free, but seeing as I've, I have, I've got them, I might as well play the bait in Dragonfire. I lack early removal other than that so and let's see. Should I cut this doesn't really fit into my deck I don't think. I got the Sidious Pet, it's one of the worst cards by far. And then I have twenty two. So let's put them by their actual cost. I guess I don't love Feral Crew Shock, but I think it's probably better than uh, that card. Let's see. These are all good. 
I guess Frontier Mastodon isn't great, but it's fine. Yeah. This looks like a decent deck with some with some really good cards. Sometimes you might activate this and then play the invocation. There are some combo material. Uh, yeah. So let's see. No mountains. Uh, let's see. Okay. Five nine. That's seven. Seven and <laughs> seven eleven. Uh, I don't think I need eleven green sources. Ten. And eight. That's probably fine. Yeah. I mean, because uh, all of these are morphs, except the well, two are, aren't. But I, I think ten is enough. So. Okay. Well, it turned out. I was really skeptic <laughs> uh, beginning of the draft because I mean Jund doesn't really but it turned out turned out to be a black green deck with some red with some really signature black green cards like Sultai Flayer, Kintry Invocation and Dishonored Ancestor as well as a nice <laughs> on color rare and of course a Yugen some hard removal and well I guess yeah I think this should be enough so <laughs> unless I fe face like uh, the Mantis Rider into Flamework Phoenix I might be fine so yeah see you in round one